Morning, lovely viewer. Well, this is a video that I, I, I was looking forward to making. It was planting Rose Laguna in this terracotta pot, but I'm, I'm gonna cut the, um, the bottom of this pot out. I was looking forward to making it because as I drew reference to in a previous video, it wasn't my idea. I saw it on somebody else's channel. And I, yeah, I was looking forward to, uh, to replicating that process. But I thought I'd better check with the original video that I saw over a year ago. And when I, when I watched that video yesterday, um, I was a little bit humbled because the, the lady who, whose idea it was, or at least who put the video out, is a lady by the name of Bunny McGuinness. And it's her channel. And she is an, an expert gardener. She is a Rosarian. And she is the, she is the niece of David Austin. And um, I'm not even going to to attempt to replicate this because her channel it is it is finely tuned. It is more Steven Spielberg, whereas I am more more Sesame Street. So I'm going to leave a link in the description with regards to her channel, and um, I suggest you watch that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to I'm going to talk about some things that I think she missed out. And I'm also going to talk a little bit more about the uh, the actual cutting process. But I suggest you check out her channel because she is far more experienced than than I am. Right, this here is one I've done already, as they say in Blue Peter. That is Rose Laguna that I've planted next to this tree. Now that in itself is a benefit because I've cut the bottom of this pot off. I haven't had to dig down, damaging the roots of this tree, trying to smash them away so I could bury it into the soil. Now this tree here, it, it happens to be dead. A neighbor said that we could cut this back as hard as we liked and it would flourish. But as you can see, that did not transpire to be the case. But yeah, I've planted this at the, at the base of a tree, cut the bottom of the pot off and just, and just left it there. The, the roots, when they fill the pot, the roots will then start to make their own way down into the into the soil. So the bottom of a tree, I think that's a benefit for me. Another benefit is, and some of you may be looking at this thinking that I've planted it too far away, and I, I get that, I do get that, but I'm going to, or at least my intention, is to plant some flowers at the bottom here, maybe two foot, three foot high, which ordinarily I wouldn't have got away with. But because this rose is elevated, I think I can get away with that. And another benefit is this, for me at least, this hedge here, it does cast a blanket of shadow down here, probably down at that angle there. Now, because it's elevated, these the canes from this tree are in the sunlight from sunrise until probably midday, early afternoon. Because it's elevated, I've, I've now got away with it so that's another benefit and the last benefit is worms from the garden soil can make their way into the pot we we all know the the benefit that that um the worms can give us over time the the soil in the pot will drop and i will just keep i will just keep adding adding mulch as that soil level drops down so overall i think it's a fantastic idea but i do suggest you you check out her channel it certainly is more <laughs> more professional and more finely tuned more steven spielberg now with regards to the actual cutter i have already done it and it went a lot easier than i was anticipating i suggest you use a blade like this without teeth you want a solid metal disc like this and if you've cut tiles then you will be able to do this i think the only danger or potential danger is the very final bit because it's a a circular blade and you're trying to cut a hole you might be left with some bits of terracotta that are just holding on you get a hammer and you you break it down i think that might be the only kind of tricky bit but if you didn't want to take a angle grinder to your pot um you can get something i saw in the garden center yesterday called a rhubarb forcer which is basically a terracotta pot that is open at both ends or as Bunny McGuinness says in her video, 
a chimney stack. You can get a chimney stack there and that will look, that will look cool as hell, particularly in a, uh, a cottage garden. Now, whilst my channel might not be Steven Spielberg, it might be a little bit more Sesame Street. I am gonna give myself, having watched Bunny's video yesterday, I'm gonna give myself a, a little bit of poetic license as I cut this pot. I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it.